first thing I found on our train adventure. It's definitely an old like station. A little maybe a low passenger loading area or something. You can see there was a a docking station here. Look at that old building. Look at that. It definitely looks like railroad stuff. Oh, Lane's calling us. Okay, so that was uh, Lane letting me know I misunderstood. We are, we're leaving Lahana and we're gonna be uh, landlocked <coughs> after tomorrow. So I misunderstood, I guess, what was happening with this trip. So I am on a time crunch now all of a sudden. So I gotta drive down this terrifying abandoned road um, for a few miles. I'm trying to find the other end of the tracks. I'm gonna stop and show you anything cool I find along the way, but we gotta make it kind of quick. <laughs> so, all right, back to adventurizing. All right, just a few miles down the track. Here we are at the Canapali Station. Wow. <laughs> wow, I'm probably, when I get home, gonna have to look up Oh yeah, look at that. Look at all the Christmas decorations. Why is Christmas decorations like the quintessential thing of abandoned places? Why do abandoned places attract Christmas decorations? I just don't understand. Look at that, all Christmas decorations. Wow. I, when I, like I was about to say, when I get home, I'm gonna have to look up videos of this place while it was still open. Cause you can tell it was beautiful. Look at that, an old, an old, uh, uh, sleigh. Probably part of their Christmas decoration deal. Oh, look at this. This must have been maybe a... Maybe a ticketing office or something. Very cool. Built on a great big stone pedestal. Very interesting. Wow, look at this place. Wow! Look at this! Just the abandoned entrance, all the coconuts falling down. Wow, this is really kind of cool. <laughs> Unbelievable. Man, somebody's storing a bunch of uh, masonry equipment. Oh, abandoned run driving way here. Look at the flowers. It's so pretty. Wow. Some of these big old tree guys. I don't see where the road to get in must. It must have been over here somewhere. This must have been the road in. That must have been the parking lot over there. I wonder what that structure is over there in the trees. I see something. Oh, it's just a power pole. Wow. Look at that station. That's pretty cool. I'll walk over here and see if we can see where the entrance was. Maybe there's some cool old signage. Now I'm thinking I understand what the modern lights are for. This place has been abandoned for like 10 years. Uh, I talked to the, uh, the guy I met on the side of the road and he was explaining that, yeah, this place has been closed for like seven years, uh, eight years, and they've reopened it trying to revitalize it uh, during Christmas as like a holiday train type of deal. And I guess it just didn't get enough traction. And the guy who bought all this said he was gonna, you know, fix it up and open it back up because he said, you know, it's a heritage site and it needs to be, you know, available to the public. Well, I don't see a lot of work getting done over here. Somebody just dumped a bunch of mulch right in the middle of their, their driveway entrance. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, here is the entrance right down there. All right, well, we'll go explore that in a minute. I, I, I don't know if you heard on my earlier video, I'm in a bit of a time constraint now because I realize this is our last day with the rental cars and stuff, so I got to return my moped and all that dumb shit. Chemically treated boiler water. Do not drink. This is the old water station for the boilers on the steam train. Look at that. Looks like there might even still be water in there. Thing. Oh no, it's empty. Look at that. That's the gauge. It's got a little float on the inside and it can tell you how much water's in it based on that gauge. That's really interesting. Another little ticketing booth, perhaps a waiting area over here. 
there must have been like an operator on the inside of here who'd work the oh yeah look at that who'd work the switches and stuff very interesting very interesting this is all closed up boarded off it looks like it might have been like maybe bathrooms it's really deteriorating being left to the elements like this this won't be standing for too much longer another little Outhouse is a mass grave. The crazy train. All right, well, there's one station to check out. Yeah, there's a good shot right there. Let me get that. Ah, oh, beautiful flowers. Yeah, there it is, the sugar cane train. Great big water, water thing. Pretty cool. All right, we gotta keep trucking. On a time frame here, folks, on a time frame. Okay, I found a big ass trestle. That's part of this sugarcane railway here. It's really something. Holy shit. Ooh, it's pretty sketchy. I'm walking across it. Do it for the interwebs. Man, these trees are all growing into the track. Let me tell you a story about this railroad. It is never ever going to open back up again. I can pretty much pretty much guarantee that at this point. Because we're gonna walk in the middle of this. No, we're not. We're like right in the middle here. It's just fine. Um, because it's right next to this golf course, and you have a fucking enormous housing complex next to the fucking uh golf course also. And this steam locomotive goes right through that housing complex. So, like, kind of damning for any railroad, especially a steam railroad. Um, God damn, is it a long way down. This is, this will get you a little dizzy. Watch your damn step, kids. Gotta watch out, I have no insurance. Oh, man. Pretty fucking cool though, man. Pretty fucking cool. Gotta say. <sighs> Let's get out to like the highest point, of course, and then we'll stop and look around. Oh, shit. It's pretty fucking cool. I think there's a gorge down there. I might just keep cruising. This is how close it is to the golf course. So like, kind of damning for any railroad. It's super tough. To have a railroad going when you got a golf course right next door. People who play golf don't tend to like railroads. At least not right next to their golf courses. It's pretty scary. I have made the mistake multiple times now of looking down. And it has made me a little dizzy. But I hear, it sounds like water, but I don't see water. It's a great big gorge, but not, uh, no water down there. <sighs> big scared of heights, in case anyone did, can't tell. Terrified of heights. Oh God, oh God, what was that noise? Don't like it. Oh shit, oh shit. <sighs> Christ almighty, that's as far as I want to go. It's pretty sketchy. <laughs> it is pretty sketchy. But it's a sweet old railroad trestle. Happy to see it's still up here. Golly. All right, that's enough adventurizing on this railroad trestle. We're going to go back the other way because we got to go back the other way in any ways to get to my bike. So, oh, God. Big sketch. Going to turn around. Turn the camera off so you can't hear me freak out. There's a badass train trestle we were on. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. Right there, and then there's a golf course. And then even more damning for the track, as the track goes right through there where those trees are, 
and there's your brand new fancy dancy housing accommodations going in right by the track. Shoot. They'll never open that track up again. It'll be, this is it. This is gonna continue to de degrade and degrade. At best, that station where I was trying to get into, where I couldn't get into, at best, it'll be a museum, at best. More than likely, they'll tear the tracks out, scrap it all, tear all the stations down, and this train will be nothing but a distant memory of times gone by. Me further down the road, I'm gonna head on the main road and see if I can get a little further, but like right here, this is exactly why, this guy right here is exactly why this railroad is doomed. Because people like this move into a place like this and they don't understand that there's history here and they'll, they'll, they'll drown out your history to, to make their, their present. And uh, someone like that has the money and the lawyers and the finances to do so. So, all right, I'm gonna get back on the main road, see if I can catch up some more of this uh, cool abandoned railroad. There's a big old Pioneer Mill uh, smokestack, which is where the sugarcane train would would stop, is here. So I gotta be close to the turntable. Unfortunately, the tracks ended and there was just nowhere else. Well, not tracks didn't end, but the, the road that ran next to the track ended and there's just nowhere to ride a moped that was safe. So... I'm gonna try to backtrack, see if I can't find. I think I've gone too far because I know this is the end of the line. I didn't. I don't see any other line, so I'm gonna try to go a little bit further back and see if I can't find the rest of the line and find the turntable. So, back on the road again. What I think used to be the. I thought this was the damn turntable. What the hell? Oh man, it is infested with homeless people. Jesus Christ, is it infested with homeless people. Oh boy. This used to be the parking lot. This used to be the loading area. I don't know where the damn turntable was. Must be gone now. Might not be any more turntable. I really want to go over there by the station, but like that station seems to be just like a hot spot for homeless people and like, you know, most of the time homeless people don't like being recorded, but damn, that sucks. Under what stood here, maybe a little pavilion or something? Got blown over in a storm or something like that. Damn. Take a booth. Shit. Fucking sick. Ah, oh, it's all fucking shut down. It's been shut down for years. Oh shit, and they got one of the old engines over here. No bullshit. That's pretty sick. Pretty sick. I'm gonna climb up here. Oh yeah, I got the old brake. Big old boiler. <laughs> no shit. So we did finally find the turn. I thought it was, I thought the turntable was inside of like a big old house or a big old building of some kind, not just out here in the open, exposed to the elements. It's probably one of the reasons why this damn thing doesn't run no more is because trying to get this old bitch to work. Woo. I don't know how solid it is. God damn. It is beat the fuck up. Well, this is it. This is how they had chickens hanging out. Oh, beautiful tree, though. Hell yeah. So, this is how they'd bring the trains down. They'd 
Fucking spin them around and send them back down the other way. It's pretty sick. Cool little shop. All right, I think that concludes my my uh, uh, sugar cane train adventures. I think we're gonna head back to the resort, pop in the shower, and then uh, maybe go for the road to Hana. We'll see what happens. All right, we'll catch you up later.